fun. And we're speaking with Missouri S&T women's soccer coach Joe McCauley here on MinorAthletics.com. Coach, congratulations. Uh, great start to the season. 3-1 and one in your first four games. You've had some uh, thrilling wins. Uh, maybe a little more than we'd like, but uh, you'll definitely take them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's been a really good start. Um, you know, we've, we've uh, you know, coming together well as a team. The chemistry is good. Um, we're real happy with where we're at right now. Um, you know, it has been pretty thrilling and uh, pretty exciting. Uh, the players are battling hard, and, um, you know, we're, we're earning every victory uh, game by game, so we're, we're pleased. Well, let's take a look at each four of those games individually. You start your season two weeks ago on August 31st down at Drury against Wayne State, a team out of the Northern Sun Conference, scoreless at halftime, and then uh, still scoreless with about three and a half minutes to go in regulation, and Sammy Manet wins the ball in the midfield and plays it ahead downfield, and Kelsey Salzman is able to run it down and beat the keeper inside the far post for the game winner for a thrilling one nothing win. Talk a little bit about that game. Yeah, I mean, that was our essentially our first um, actual full soccer match, uh, you know, and I think at that point in time we were still kind of uh, evaluating things and learning things as a team and, and trying to build upon some things. Um, you know, I think the goal that we scored was a very nice goal. It was a very well set up goal. Um, you know, we, we were able to get in behind and execute the way we were looking to do and work on some of the things that we, we've been doing all week. Um, it was a very nice finish by Kelsey and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, won the game for us. So, uh, really exciting fashion. I mean, obviously, we had to hang on until the 87th minute, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, and keep playing all the way through it. So, uh, um, a lot of props to the players for, for, for staying focused and, and making sure we got the win. Then that following Sunday, you take on a Washburn club, very talented, dominated the first half of that match, get a goal in the 29th minute and to take a one nothing lead, and then almost nearly had a 2 nothing lead, but great job by Sabrina Hostler to stay with the play and clear a ball off the line that was headed for goal, mm -hmm. which would have put you guys in a 2 nothing hole kind of able to maintain, and then about the last 30, 35 minutes of regulation, you guys really started dominating, and Susie DeWall got rewarded for being in the right place at the right time with the game-tying goal, and then the second overtime, Kendra Wood placed a beautiful corner kick uh, right into the middle of the box that the keeper couldn't handle and it went in for a goal. Right. Well, I think, you know, to key on uh, what you said initially, we're, we're, our defenders are doing a, a, a very good job, um, you know, and, and all four matches that we've played recently, uh, they've stepped up their game as well, and, you know, they've kept us in matches, um, and in the uh, Washburn case, you know, pretty much kept us alive. Um, you know, obviously we were down, you know, one nothing. Uh, we battled our way back, you know, I, I think the team is showing a tremendous amount of character right now um, in all four of the matches that we've played so far, and that, that's carrying us quite a bit. Um, you know, I think that's a huge statement for us as a team, um, you know, where we're at with our chemistry and, and uh, you know, how we're approaching games. Uh, for us to come back and win that game in overtime 2-1, to one, they, you know, it certainly testifies to that fact. Um, you know, not to mention how we played this past weekend as well, you know, uh, uh, beating Lewis and, and doing well against Wisconsin Parkside. Uh, you lead me into my next question. Parkside last Friday, give up a goal in the seventh minute on a penalty kick. Mm -hmm and then give up another one about 37 minutes later. Parkside's probably one of the toughest places to play in the GLVC, and you knew it was going to be a tough battle. Parkside's usually one of the top teams in the GLVC every year, but the way your kids play, I know you're not happy with the 2 nothing loss, but you know there are things that you could build off of. Yeah, certainly you're never happy with a loss, of course, but I mean there's a lot to be said for how we played in that match and playing against a competition that, um, you know, essentially is one of the top teams in the conference and, and ranked pretty high regionally uh, every year. So, um, you know, we're proud of our performance. We're proud of the, the effort that the kids are putting into each match, we're, and we're proud of the things that, uh, about the things that we're working on and building on are, are getting better. And that's the main thing that we're looking for is are we progressing, you know, each and every match and uh, getting closer to our, our goals as a team. Um, so, so you know, with that match, I mean, I, I'm certainly very proud of how they performed and, you know, w walked out of that match, um, you know, obviously disappointed, you know, we didn't get the result, but at the same time, very happy with the way the team's performing and coming along. 
Um, you know, then we went into Sunday with uh, against a very difficult Lewis opponent, um, Lewis University, and and we're able to come back and actually still fight and play and, and get the win. So, uh, you know, again, I, I think that says a lot to their character and, and uh, their drive. Well, you definitely got a couple big breaks in that Lewis game. Lewis had a couple goals taken away in the first half, mm-hmm. and then uh, in the second half, Kim Eckholm headed home a quarter again from Kendra Wood, mm-hmm. uh, who's really starting to step up into that role as right. the, a pretty good corner kick taker. So, you know, that had to be pretty good. And then again, late in the game, your defense saved another one off the line that preserved the shutout. Yes, I mean, it, that was a pretty unique game. Uh, um, as you said, giving up a couple of goals and the, the referees calling those goals back. So we did get a little bit of a lucky break because you don't always, they don't always catch uh, those particular types of fouls or even offsides. Um, in, in those circumstances, and and I think um, the fact that we you know maintained our composure throughout that, and and essentially uh, continue to play, continue to search for goals, continue to defend well, you know you know again goes back to what I was saying that, that I really feel like we're in a good spot and a good place, um, you know as a team, you know with emotionally and with our chemistry, and you know the kids are, are fighting for everything, and 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 because of that they're putting good things together, they're putting the corner kicks together that we need. Um, they're finding goals that, that we need to secure matches. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're coming along late in games to, to make sure that we, we get the win or preserve the win in this case because we had to, once we scored, we had about 35 minutes uh, left in the match and, and Lewis really came on strong and, and we did a very good job, you know, holding it together and con- continuing to play and, uh, and making it difficult for them. So, um, you know, again, I'm just real happy that, that we're where we're at right now and going into this weekend and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll continue to continue to get the wins and, and, and play well. Well, you talked about this weekend. You're finally home after two straight weeks on the road. You open Friday night here at 5 o'clock against St. Joseph's, uh, a team that S&T has dominated lately since joining the GLVC, went in five of the seven meetings. Uh, but, you know, it's a ball club. You're, you know your, te- your team knows that they can't take lightly because – any team in this league, no matter what their record is, can catch you if you're not prepared. Correct. I mean, this conference is is a very difficult conference to play in. Um, every every weekend counts, and you can't take anybody for granted because you just never know. You never know who you're gonna, you're going to catch on an off day, or if somebody's going to catch you on an off day. And uh, um, I think that makes it challenging and, and difficult at times, but certainly rewarding. Uh, you know, when you get the wins and, um, you know, when you play well. Um, going into this weekend, you know, I think our, our, our mission is to continue to focus on how we need to play and the things that we need to do uh, a little bit more than perhaps who we're playing because that way, you know, we're, we're going to focus on the things that are going to just make us better, you know, and, and hopefully the, if we're lucky the, the score will take care of itself. But, um, you know, right now I think that's, that's the best approach for us, you know, regardless of who we're playing, because everybody's a tough opponent as far as we're concerned, and we want to make sure we come out and, you know, play our best game on uh, on each and every time we're, we're taking the field. So. And then on you close the home stand on Sunday with a match against uh, Indianapolis, the ball club that, despite uh, they got a lot of talent, but really they've, they've played a tough early season schedule and are sitting one and three right now, and they, they get a – tough match at Drury on Friday morning so again you know you can't just look at the record with a team like Indianapolis yeah not in this conference the the records are never accurate I mean uh, it's there's a lot of parity in the conference a lot of teams can beat other teams on any given day and um, so you just can't take it for granted UND is a very good team as well um, and they're going to come to play you know and play hard so we have to bring our A game you know and and that's essentially how we have to approach, I think, the whole season is prepared to play our best game each and every day and work on the things that we're focused on, um, you know, and not, and not put as much emphasis on, you know, who we're playing, but how we're going to play and how we're going to get it done and, and the things that we're going to do to, to essentially get after the win. All right, Coach, thanks for the time, and uh, good luck this weekend. Great, thank you. You can catch the Lady Miners games with St. Joe's in Indianapolis this weekend by clicking on the live stat links, which can be found on the upcoming events tab on the homepage of minorathletics.com. For minorathletics.com, this is Luke Rennie saying thanks for watching.